in this video bringing you guys the top 10 mode fusions in shin life so i feel like this is going to be a really interesting one because there's just so many different mode fusions you can actually do in the game so if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like and let's get right to the video guys coming in 10th place is going to be dio Seco mode one plus rabbit sage now these modes together are absolutely insane just because of the combo potential they actually have the reason why it's ranked this low is because it actually does drain quite a bit of mode a second so you have to kill them quickly so pretty much what you want to do is you want to use the dio Seco mode one so you just want to do this into any place lock stun and then you guys want to just do your combo or whatever and at the end of your combo you just want to immediately go into rabbit sage mode and they just work really well together because the dio Seco mode one sets up the combo perfectly and the rabbit sage is a perfect combo ender so it's really good for your combos and it, it's really good for iframes as well not to mention that the cooldowns are extremely low coming in ninth place is going to be shindai ren second mode and worm sage mode now the reason for this is because these modes actually stack yes you heard that correctly these modes stack so the m1s do stack they do tons of damage as I'm about to show you guys. So I'm going to use the throwable on him, and then I'm going to do an M1 combo. You're going to watch his HP melt. Throwable, and then I'm going to do... Oh, I actually didn't do the throwable. Okay. As you guys can see, lots of damage. I'm going to do the throwable so he's place lock stun. M1 combo. Z spec. I'm going to suck him in. Give him the big suck and then I'm going to do another M1 combo. Yeah. In short, the M1 stack, it does a lot of damage to them. As you can see, it does like 40k a hit, right? Which is the normal Worm Sage M1s. But if they're place locked, the actual Shindai Ren M1s will also hit him. So it, it, he's dead. That What was that? Like four or five M1 combos and instantly dead. There actually is one stronger than this, as we'll get onto in a little bit. But this is pretty strong. Coming in eighth place, is going to be Xeno Dokai plus Worm Sage. So you guys saw this with the, uh, the one before, the ninth one, Worm Sage plus shindai ren second mode this is like that but on the literal so i'm just going to show you guys i am only going to use two play slots i'm going to riken blade i'm going to m1 combo him and then i'm going to hit him with a bankai play slot and then i'm going to m1 combo him again so he you see you see i barely done any abilities it's going to be about four m1 combos or whatever and the, the dude is going to be almost dead so I, i'm just going to rank it a blade and i'm going to do it does over a hundred thousand damage per m1 combo you guys i'm sure you could do the math you guys are smart people you could do the math 100k damn over 100k damage in m1 combo that's like five m1 combos to kill someone moded and you could kill someone in like three m1 combos modeless now if you guys think that's bad i don't know what to say to you coming in seventh place is going to be demonic or vapor inner spirit with 10 go now these are going to go together because it's a stun with an insanely high damage mode so they go really well together it's practically a combo itself without any bloodline moves which is why i did not equip any all right i'm gonna show you guys something pretty funny i'm just gonna do a throwable and then i'm gonna stun and then i'm gonna use the c spec on him it's gonna hit him with the explosion and then we're gonna weapon spec look literally a combo it, it's literally a combo just those moves alone is a combo and they also work really really well together because you can't actually m1 before hitting the z spec and then you can do another m1 and then boom hit him with a hit him with a combo you know whatever they're really good together and togoku kind of carries it stat wise demonic spirit kind of works the same way coming in sixth place is going to be ryuji kenichi and light jokai mo now the reason why this is going to be here is just simply they're good there's not really much else reason for them being here they don't really have that much synergy together they're just good i mean it their synergy in the fact where you can just like you could see spec you could see spec someone and then go into a z spec or whatever their synergy like that and then you, the, the main reason why the both these modes are absolutely amazing you have a second life you have instant stat boost like joke i can set up your combos and things like that overall it's just really 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 good there's not much else to say about it they're just really good together coming in fifth place is going to be any dunes fate and kagoku i mean not any dunes fate any fate and kagoku now i'm going to be specifically referencing the second mode because it actually does go with kagoku the absolute best so what you want to do is actually use the z spec on someone so you want to use the the second fate mode z spec on someone it'll go it's a block breaker and it's unavoidable they're stunned for a second so then you can get the c spec off completely free the only way to get out of this is if they auto dodge so if you bait their auto dodge hit them with the z spec they will literally use, lose all their mode instantly that's that's the reason why it's gonna be here i mean if you guys want to go into the third mode that works as well with the z spec and the c spec it doesn't work as well but it does work and then you obviously do have the kagoku weapon spec which is very nice hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit that like button on the video yet if you haven't already go ahead and do it coming at fourth place is gonna be bankai akuma plus frog sage and the reason for this is because it's basically just infinite iframes not to mention that they actually do combo with each other so if you use this specific frog sage mode it actually will combo the other one does combo as well but this is kind of what you want to do so what you want to do is do the c the, the z spec and then it actually is a block break as you guys can see i missed it's kind of hard to hit but after you do that you would hit him with the c spec mode drain block break and you basically have infinite iframes not really much else to say about it it's just really really good for iframes coming in third place is going to be satori akuma and rabbit sage mode now the reason why this is going to be here is just simply iframe 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 all it is is 
is just complete eye phrase pick by with the fact that you actually can do a crap ton of damage to people so let's say you you weapon spec and then z spec someone so you block broke and then do this i'm not joking when i say this you legitimately do from those two abilities like 300 000 damage so you do either half or more of someone's health literally instantly from two abilities weapon spec z spec not to mention you do have like infinite iframes frames with these and your weapon spec is on a really low cooldown so it, everything i frame spam instant abilities super massive op omega law damage and yeah it's just fun to use in general as well now coming in second place is going to be light joke eye plus vapor slash demonic spirit now for this specific one i'm going to be using demonic spirit now in case you guys do not believe me i threw together some completely random moves i just went like okay this move's going to be good in a combo i'm going to use it so i just threw some random moves in just to show you guys how good this is going to be i actually just used my throwable but that's cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to c spec into the z spec okay and so it's going to be completely unavoidable by the way you can't you can't avoid it because light joke eye actually bypass his block so let me just remind you hit it with that boom hit it with the stun into the lava oh i used the wrong lava ability it's okay we could save this we could save it don't worry we could save the combo we could save the combo we got this oh i missed i used the wrong lava ability normally i would use the other lava ability it would instantly one shot them pretty much and then you just do whatever with it obviously it'll have that very many abilities equipped it's not thought out but as you guys can see it is just insane these modes together you can pretty much set up any combo instantly especially with the vapor in Inner spirit if you guys actually use vapor inner spirit it's a play sock stun so it's a completely unavoidable combo it, even if they get anywhere near you instantly c spec into the z spec and unless you have an auto dodge you're basically done for at that point and that's why these modes are absolutely insane together now honor measure what is going to be riken shizen second mode in vapor inner spirit now i'm sure you guys know the reason why if you guys have ever used riken shizen second mode in your entire life you already know the reason why z spec after the z spec you guys want to use the c spec that's literally that's literally it i actually did it really slow there but that's literally the whole combo that's they work well together <laughs> that's really all there is to say about this honorable mention i mean like come on man now honor bridge 2 is going to be narmaki second mode and ryan red second mode now the reason for this is just honestly kind of for the troll because uh it's pretty trolly <laughs> use it both these second modes because you got the double timer going on you got the absolute madness that we're seeing right now like we got a bird tailed beast baron mode xd hawkeye you know you know what i'm saying man it, 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 not to mention the stats are really high by the way like everything has really really high stats also that that throwable does a lot of damage i forgot how much damage the throwable does so everything does a lot of damage <laughs> there's not much else to say everything does a lot of damage you have really good stuff and uh yeah everything's gucci when you're using the uh double buffed mode with aut passive auto dodge that drains chi from people when you m1 them with 4,000 stats by the way guys what is your favorite mode fusion in shindle life feel free to tell me in the comments below i will be checking them out now coming in first place is going to be light jokai plus divination i don't know if you guys expected this or not i'm sure some of you did the reason for this is because divination first of all is just broken in in itself and light jokai is also a really really good mode especially for publics all right so i told him to hit me i just want to show you guys how powerful this is so as you can see he is he's hitting me he's he's hitting me there's not much else to say about it but the fact that you can actually auto dodge right the fact you can actually auto dodge makes it so you can actually start combos so you you can start combos there's not much to say about it you can start combos specifically the light jokai combo you can start it, it even if someone is hitting you because of how powerful divination is so you basically have infinite iframes and insanely good combo starting and light jokai mode is obviously just really 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 good because it has really good combo potential with damage output so when you pair that with the literal best sub ability mode you're bound to get some insane heavy results and a lot of people in rpg actually do spam these uh these modes are heavily spammed so uh yeah have fun with that guys anyways guys thanks for here for this video if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like for more that's six guys bye bye